Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, an, an, another another day with Jimmy on his roster, man. And like, as I was telling brother Jew, you know I, what I say? I said, you know what? These guys are stagnating us, man. You know him. And I'm sorry, man. D Ford at this point, man. D D Ford. I, I, I have nothing else to say for D Ford, man. He ain't doing nothing but hijacking the team at this point. Now the guy hey, is renegotiating. Hey, hey. At least, at least, I'm glad you said something about that. At least his cap number is down. At least he extended once again. I mean, Listen, man, that's that's I money. Bobby, he's like the Bobby Bonilla of the NFL. He's got to continue to get paid. But that's, I think it was, I think it was uh, Mama Deb who said something like, "Thank you so much, people." I'm like, "Thank you." I mean, you getting paid for nothing? What? Pay for exactly. <laughs> Exactly. But the smaller amount he takes, the more we could do free agent wise. The only one standing us is Jimmy. Man, did. Hey, Dave, hey. you made more already. Not playing. exactly. Everybody we paid that. Made you know he's made. Life. He's you know. I, I got the actual numbers, man. He's we paid the guy forty one million dollars so far. Forty one million for what, one season. Come on, really? Was the bank was 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 the, was the juice worth the squeeze? Teams not really. Worse. Not. At doesn't, least he doesn't excuse at least it. he produced in that one season. What's that doesn't say about Carson it. Wentz? Doesn't excuse it. It's a bad. I don't give a damn move. about Wentz. Wentz ain't on my team. I'm Listen. talking about somebody that's on my squad. <laughs> this motherfucker ain't did shit without he, nothing. He ruined, that's he what I'm saying. It for me, because you know, I said he was going to DC. It was a perfect setup. Carson Listen, Wentz man. going there was just like a hurricane that just came crashing down on the What's whole. Up, Julie? <laughs> yeah. Well, uh. Where we at with D Ford? Bow. 49ers create hey, more that's cap. A perfect picture too. That's a perfect picture. More cap space <laughs> for D Ford D structure. Now what are we paying him for? What if we what are we paying him for if he's not healthy enough to play? I'm sorry. I don't care if it was two dollars. We give you two dollars to perform on the field. He can't perform, so why are we paying him anything? Enough why is it. We pay the, the guy stole enough money. Paying, why are we still paying Jimmy Dick? Listen, what? ain't nobody here making an argument for Jimmy. Ain't nobody right. making an argument for Jimmy here. So you, you got us wrong on that, Jack. This guy does not need to... We shouldn't be paying these guys any more money. They're hijacking the team now. And they're, they're, now they, they're they literally stealing money and stagnating us. We need these. We need every dollar we can get in this process. And we're wasting guys, money with guys who can't who can't stay on the field and stay healthy. What did he play, so two least, games last season? At least the focus is on him now and not on Armstead. We can't say nothing about Armstead anymore. No, I no. We, we haven't said anything about all since he's no. been balling this past season. No, I'm we haven't said much about him. No, he's been he's been balling. But even playing, even man. with the season he, he produced, you still hear rumblings. Oh, that twenty million is a lot of money. He should cut back. Oh, he cut back. Well, he did he cut back. What to say? Right. But see, thing with my issue with D Ford is not just you cut back; you need to cut out now because it's 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 obviously clear you are not healthy enough to withstand the season. So why are you hey. take why are you stealing money and now you're stealing money, man? Hey, what he you need to stealing do, money? Man? So what? What what he need to do? He need I'm, a hoodie. I'm, 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 look, I'm looking for for what we're paying him for, like <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what did he pay? Hey, look, we, I, I thought he was gonna retire. Uh, all kind of shit, and this ain't happened yet. No, hey guys, no, you gotta get, you gotta get your greens in, man. The cold Maybe press. Maybe he get thinks he has a Jason Verrett story in him. That, that's my the only. <laughs> this, 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 this is my question. Listen, man, so, any... is, is there any plan for him to play this year at all? Oh, they always say there's a plan. Well, they say they say it is, but you know, uh, limited snaps. You know, he's not gonna. He's, he's not. He, they can't throw him out there like they, they. You know, he can't get out there like Bolts and them boys and. Nah. Them, you know that nope. ain't happening. Nope. So I don't think I think we need to cut bait with with, with guys like that. It's shit like that, that that really holds up this roster. We need to cut bait with him. We really well. Don't. We can cut bait with him after Jimmy G is dealt, but we needed him for this plan to get under the cap. If you don't, if you outright cut him, it was going to cost us two point four million. Mm -hmm. So that doesn't really that didn't, cutting him wouldn't have really helped. Wouldn't help, right? Restructuring actually saves us right now. I agree, though. After when we get to training camp, he's got to go. <laughs> yeah, man. Come on, man. Cut, cut, cut us some slack, man. Get out of here. You can't help us anymore. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And it's as for and as for as for uh, number ten. 
you already know how I feel about him. You, you see the article I showed you guys. I think I put it on Twitter as well. You know, where somebody blew, uh, actually came out and said, yeah, him and his agent got together and did this <laughs> to mess up his trade. I told y'all this. Exactly. I told y'all this. You no business bond insecure junkyard mother. <laughs> Number 10, that's what, that's see, that's what you are, mother. In mother. doing that, he's going to screw himself. The way I figure it is, when this whole quarterback carousel now with Deshaun Watson gets settled, oh, he's still going to end up going to Cleveland or Indianapolis, but now with a lot less money. Well, Jimmy, this is the most the money he's going to make. This is the most money he's going to make on any, on any NFL roster. This is the most money he's ever going to make, the hey. most success he's ever going to have on any NFL roster. He's going to he's gonna literally come it after things. this. I'm going to add to that for you, Don. It's the most money that he's probably ever going to make. And I'm telling you, I'm not saying Kyle Shanahan is a mad scientist. Yes, I respect what he does as, as offensive mind. Right. But this is the best, I think this is the best he can operate within somebody's system is on the Kyle right. Shanahan. Right. You know, b- based upon his limitations and everything else, this is the best situation for him. I don't know no other coach who can cater to him the, the way <laughs> Shanahan has. Listen, well, I, we were I talking don't know earlier. any other GM that could cater to him the way John Lynch has had. Shanahan's done. Shanahan's been done. What's the man? He's never, talking about... to cater, he's never had to cater to any other quarterback. RG3 had the talent. Even Kirk Cousins had the talent. When he had Matt Ryan, he didn't have to cater the playbook. It's only to number 10. And he's, right. he's done. He's done. We... <sighs> I need like I say, you, you, when it comes to Jimmy, man, you, you, you just run into a brick wall at a, a certain point. You just get tired of talking because the shit right. man, is so obvious. It's so obvious, and look, man. This, and, and this is my take on it. You know, none of us on this panel, nobody watching right now, actually knows the ins and outs of what's going on and how that shit works behind the scenes. But my thing is, my vision is either A, somebody is going, you know how you be on the playground, picking teams for basketball and football. You're like two people left, and you're like, all right, give me Kev. And then he's like, all right, man, come on, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? Come on, man. Oh, he the, hey, he, he, the, the he the dude that gets the play. He the dude that gets the play to complete to complete the uh the game, or it's his ball. It is the so you same let him play. thing, except you had four quarterbacks. Uh, give me Mitchell Trubisky. Who, who saw that coming? Uh, give me Tyrod Taylor. Man. Everybody and their mama got picked up. But not Jimmy Garoppolo. That's what I'm saying. He that he that last man they ain't got picked yet. And the only reason they picked him because they was one man short. Like you know what I mean? What goes to tell you what? What did I say last week, fellas? What did I say last week when John Lynch got on TV and lied once again? It's so obvious, so <laughs> stupid. We lying for shit that's going. It's, it's evident. What did he say? Oh well, the surgery's not going to affect his trade value. X Y. First of all, his trade value was already fractured prior to the surgery. You know, teams were skeptical of his ass. Hey, and he, now with he the, affected the, that. Yeah, but then you figure with the surgery, that, that teams are team they're gonna be first, even more leery. I'm like, how, this is a man's throwing arm. How the hell could that not be? You know, I'm like, come on, John, if you're gonna lie, I mean, you know, like they, like they say, don't piss on my head and tell me it's raining, bro. But you know who's awfully quiet? Supporters of number ten. Where is that? He win games theory now. Oh no, you got a few of them out there. You got some diehards. Yeah, yeah. you got some diehards out there. But they're none still, of that's still stupid. To him getting traded. Because well, if they don't it was make decisions. All about that, he'd have been gone. Well, they don't. They don't There's make decisions. Something about him that other teams do not like, especially at that twenty-six point seven million dollar salary he's scheduled to get. And that's, I find it amazing that Cleveland is actually looking into him. And I'm like, to me, him and Baker are the same motherfucker. But Excuse here's the thing: hey, Baker, like I, Baker I is. I don't Baker, see the difference. Baker is the same thing that Johnny Manziel is. He's immature. Jimmy yeah. actually has a good setup if he goes there. He's got a running game. He's got receivers that can catch the ball, and they've got a very stacked defense. Wait, so receiver? I got on. What Lance, 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 Lance. What they have is a quarterback who is unpredictable and wild. They know now, after the Super Bowl, it wasn't about OBJ. It was about their quarterback. But what receivers they got, though? Hey, Dad, who's going to throw yeah, the ball yeah, to? Dave, I'm like, uh, uh, they ain't got no bottom of the Mario Cooper. Yeah, and I think they're tight end. They just got rid of him. Not that he was a, a lead at all, but I mean. Oh, no. Austin hey, Cooper's Dave. gone, but they have that other guy. How much of that people? bowl ball you been sipping on right people? <laughs> yeah. People die, but he ain't, he ain't <laughs> that good guy. 
I'm in that gold bucket of hat already, Dave. Dave <laughs> had a few like sips already. Down, it's not like he throws <laughs> down the field anyway. It's not like he's. It's not like he has a deep threat anyway. Yeah, we know he, I mean, listen, up the middle. We know his mo. He's got some but guys he can hand the ball off to. Uh, people in the other rookie, they rookie they drafted last year, Swart, they burn us. No one thing they yeah. do is they got down and take the top off. The okay, game ain't gonna do that. Their game now. Hey, receivers that can take the top off in Cleveland with Jimmy throwing the ball is about as, as, as useful as the, as the spring door in the right. submarine. And let me tell you why. Let me tell you why Jimmy's ass is grass. See here. You know, we got these Jimmy sexuals who are in love with him and shit. He's going to go over there. Those fans are not going to care about that. You're not going to have that history. He's not going to be able to embed himself in the right. locker room to get all the tight guys. are not going to have that same bond with him that they, you know, that they do, like they have with him in San Francisco. He's going to actually have to go out there and make his bones and make his respect that way. And I don't see, I don't see him, I don't see it happening. I don't see it I happening. Mean, I, 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 you know what? I, I hope it happens long enough after he's traded. I don't care. Listen, I don't, let me, let's let's not get it twisted. I still, I, don't I, give still two, want, I still want to sell him. Listen, once he's traded, he's Dave, I don't give. Two, I can give two hey. fucks what he does once he's <laughs> traded. Once he's traded, I don't care. Week. I don't give a fuck. Dave, I would take a gas voucher and, 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 a, and a 1990 slow jam CD for Jimmy to grab right now. That's still too much money. <laughs> I take a KFC coupon for. for, for I will take a twenty piece <laughs> McNugget with honey mustard and barbecue sauce. Now nah, they wouldn't give you a twenty piece. Right now, it's getting cold. Four, <laughs> four, right, four piece. Give you a Happy Meal size. Hey, guess what I take ass. for Jimmy G? Mm. A free three day rental at Blockbuster, and they don't even exist no more. <laughs> 